Hello guys and welcome to March's video. Today we obviously have our usual mystery box opening and then everything that I've bought um, during the month of March. Um, I'm recording this video earlier in the month because I've already got the mystery box here ready um, and all the shirts that I'm planning on buying this month haven't turned up yet so I'll be recording them later in the month um, but obviously it'll be all in one video anyway. Um, as of yet, I haven't heard any news from the um, last uh, mystery box, so I don't really know what I'm going to do in my kit, but I guess we'll see. Maybe there'll be something later in the video to see um, anything what uh, may happen. Maybe I'll give it away, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but we have today's mystery box here. Um, nice one here from... Uh, this is um, one of my mates... Um, friend's companies uh, that he goes to university with uh, who has been on the channel but I won't mention who it is um, previously a long time ago he was on the channel um, so they are called shirtloopbox.com and um, their uh, pricing is quite reasonable they've got plenty of options so you've got the uh, player issue uh, you've got the replicas you've got the normal shirts and then you've also got retro and um, so there's different ones there I went for the normal um, Full, full kit basically like a an actual kit um, which is I think 31.99 and it's like 35 quid um, with uh, postage on top I think it got a 10% discount at the time because I was like a, one of the first people to do so and um, so you're looking at like 35 36 37 quid which isn't too bad and um, so I guess we'll look into it and see how we do uh, looking at this you can obviously tell it's them uh, the logos on the front hopefully it focuses but yeah it's quite a nice little logo there and um, shows different ones so let's just hope it focuses it does and um, so fingers crossed it's all good and better than last month's anyway um, so we're going to get there eventually for uh, the end of the season um, very soon I'm a Liverpool fan so it's not going well for me this month um, so let's get it open and uh, see what we think here uh, obviously quite nice packaging so I will take that so let's open it straight away and um, just hopefully none of my information is on here. So I'll open it here. Ooh, hello. So looking at this, we obviously know what kit that is as the uh, thing falls out there. We have um, the nice little greeting card there, uh, which is pretty cool. Order number five. So I was the fifth, well, one. 10,005 but I was order number 5 uh, Inter Milan as it says there so you can see on there that's pretty cool uh, quite a nice little card really it's quite a nice touch um, as it tries to focus me again so there we go um, so this is what we have been put up with um, let's just have a look I don't actually have an Inter Milan top so that's quite cool I'll uh, enjoy that one nicely there um, I used to have an Inter Milan top years ago with um, the main man uh, Schneider on it, so it's pretty cool. So there we are, Inter Milan top. Obviously the usual Pirelli, with uh, the little sponsor on the bottom, as Italian teams do. I think I've previously said that in some videos. Um, but it's a nice little kit there. Slim fit, so I will take that. What a nice kit there. Um, I've posted this on Twitter, because I'll, uh, I'll uh, comment on what I've got from them. Um, I don't really have an Instagram, I might set up a YouTube, Instagram, but I'm not really that bothered. It just, I don't earn any money from any of this, so this is all off my own back for now. Um, I have been doing it since 2013, so um, I've never earned a penny, even with the uh, videos that have got over a thousand views. Um, so yeah, I will take that. Uh, let's try it on and see what we think. So here we go. This is the nice kit here. We uh, obviously got the nice Pirelli logo along the front there. Nice official badge nice and thingy I mean it's a little bit of a v-neck I'm not a massive v-neck fan but because it's football I'm not too bored if it was a normal t-shirt I wouldn't be happy but obviously it's nice anyway Nike make him so there's obviously a vaping it version around and then obviously on the back you can see what we have there feels nice looks nice I play in blue for my Sunday league team when obviously that starts again um, well it's, it might have started by the time you watch this again um, so Fingers crossed, um, this will be a nice kit to wear. Um, I've missed it, I missed the Inter Milan kit, so it's quite cool. Um, but that is that. Yes, I'm wearing a cap because 
I am 22 and look like I have a receding hairline, so that is why I am wearing one. Um, I don't really like to show it, I mean, some videos you'll see it anyway, but that is why. I don't have a receding hairline, it's just a flick that looks weird. Um, but that is that, that is a good, um, good purchase really, in the big scheme of things. Um, I guess we'll have a look, see how much money we've lost slash made. Um, I mean, I don't expect it to be a profit, but... We'll see, it won't be as good as the Italian first kit, but um, it'll be hopefully better than blooming last week's, uh, last month, sorry. So, I'll be right back. So, the cheapest I have found it anywhere is for 39 euros from the official Inter Milan store. So, it's decent, I mean, it's that's about 34 quid, uh, maybe 34 quid 50, so it's, it's decent. I mean, what can, what can you say? One pound, that's all they've made, one pound profit. I mean, obviously that's shipping included, so maybe they haven't really made a profit in this, but there'll be obviously kits that they have. Um, but it's a good start from their company, and hopefully uh, you can support them with all the links down in the comments below. Um, so obviously, I am very happy with my purchase, a lot more than blowing last month's. Um, so thank you so much for watching, and I guess I'll show you what I've got this month. So, that was a good shirt opening. Um, this is done obviously afterwards, uh, so I know it was a great shout from um, Shirt Football Loop, whatever they were called, dot com. Um, they are um, my mates' um, friends from university, so good effort from them. The Inter Milan shirt is really nice, so I'll be looking forward to wearing that um, on the weekends when football starts. By the time you've seen this, we might actually be back going again. Um, so we're going to see what I have bought this month, uh, obviously in March. Um, so we'll go straight on to the first one. So, um, Greaves Sport, we're doing a deal on Rangers shirts. Um, so I decided to get this one from last season, red one. Obviously, they're doing very well this season under Stevie G. Um, and this was £15. Very, very nice indeed. Um, uh, one of Jack's mates, my brothers, he's uh, one of his mates, um, is an Aberdeen fan. So he said, I will pay you 20 quid to burn it. So uh, it's quite funny, really. Um, obviously, I said no, because I like football shirts. And I like Rangers, to be fair. Um, so here we are. Very, very straightforward. Nice red, obviously, made by uh, Hummel. Uh, very nice indeed. So let's put it on and see what we think. So here we go. Obviously, nice red top, very straightforward, simple Rangers logo on the front, but as if it's a bit dark, and then the Hummel logo, and then the uh, 3, 2, um, red logo on the front. Very nice, very simple, but proper good as well. Oh, there's actually a logo on the back. <laughs> Didn't know that. Let's straighten it out. There you are. So, yeah, quite nice. I'll definitely be wearing this. It's kind of like another... Another Liverpool shirt, obviously quite red, so I can't complain. Uh, so let's go on to the next one quickly. So we're on to the next shirt. No, it's not for Man City top. I'm a Liverpool fan, so that would never happen. But we've gone with their affiliate team in America, New York City Football Club. Uh, we got this off Kitbag. Um, very nice. They were down to 21 quid. So I thought, why the hell not? Really nice top. Um, so I thought we'd go with this. Um, yes, it's obviously Man City colours, so, uh, but completely different team, other than they're owned by the same people. Not bothered. Um, so let's try it on and uh, see what we think. So, here we go. We have the New York top. Very nice. It feels a bit different, actually. I wasn't expecting this feel. Not that you can really see, because it's the uh, lighting's bad in my room, but it's kind of, like, more materially. It's kind of more like a... Like a t-shirt, normal t-shirt would be. So it's quite interesting really. I wondered if it would show up sweat a little bit more, which is a bit weird. Uh, but it's blue, and our team wear blue. Um, so it's quite nice actually. Nice nice little orange ring around the side of the side of the kit. So that's really good. I, I quite like it. MLS badge on the side. Uh, embroidered, like a sewn in Adidas badge. Same with that. And then there's the sticker of the Etihad logo. Um, along the front but quite like it it's quite a nice top as i say bit weird bit different bit long for me not that you can really see but a bit long um, but i quite like it and i'll definitely be wearing it 
So we now go on to two sh shirts that we got from ClassicFootballShirts.com. Obviously, everybody goes in the clearance section, uh, so I think we will be going onto them now. Um, I just like, decided to go in there and I found the website, and I think I'll be using it quite a lot uh, from now on. Um, plenty of shirts on there that you will want to wear. Um, I mean, some that you wouldn't want to wear, but I think the ones that you wouldn't want to wear, I might be buying because they're just interesting and different. Like everyone's seen this kit before, so we're going to try and get some different clubs uh, that people haven't seen before. So let's go on to the first one. Um, be right back. So this is the first top we've gone with. It's a, as you can see, if it focuses, a Bosnia Herzegovina top. Um, quite an old one, uh, but it's a white and blue top there. Very nice indeed, if it starts to focus yet. Um, it's got a name on the back, and I'm going to show you which name, and you've probably never heard of this player, but it means a little bit to me back on when I used to play FIFA um, with Robbie and Jack quite a lot. Um, he was one hell of a free kick taker, that's all I'm going to say. So let's put on the shirt and see what you think. So you can see from here, number 23. Who would be a number 23 in a 25 man team international? Exactly, that's why it was so cheap, but it meant a lot to me. Reveal now Sally Hovich. Sally Hovich, who was a Hoffenheim legend, um, I managed to get his shirt. Um, I actually have a Match Tack signed card from him, which I'll just go get quickly. So there we are, a signed match tack of Salihovic and got it off eBay. Apparently it's authentic and it's come all the way from Germany. Obviously a four star player, so not a bad player back in the day uh, for Bosnia. Um, I believe he's retired now. Uh, this is quite an old shirt, I can't remember what season it is, but I'll put some pictures and information on the screen. Uh, but yeah, quite cool and nice to have a matching match tack signed. Uh, I'm going to try and get all the players that I've got signed match tags for shirt um, I know it's Hoffenheim on here but and I got the Bosnia top but it's just a nice coincidence and um, so I guess we will go on to the last shirt now um, and uh, this top wasn't as cheap can't exactly remember how much it was but I guess I'll find some on screen to show you and um, so let's get on to the last kit of the episode so this is the last shirt on uh, the video today um, it's a very much unknown side but again from um, the website of classicfootballshirts.com uh, a unknown team which is I think the way we're going to go with uh, in these videos now just for interest and when I go to football training people ask who the hell are they it's more interesting really um, so we've gone with this team uh, Acra Hearts of Oak uh, are the side. They are a Ghanaian side, uh, obviously playing in the first division over there. Uh, I thought it was quite a cool looking top. There was quite a few of uh, kits from these lot on the website. Uh, this has to go with this one just because I thought it looked cool, but a little bit more basic side of things. Uh, but I'm not saying that's what we'll go with in the future, but we went with it this time. Uh, so let's try it on and see what we think. So here we are with the shirt. Obviously, it's got the massive plumbing whatever the hell they are um, down the side. Uh, quite cool though, like looking at it, it's got a massive version of the logo on the side of the kit, which is pretty cool. And I just like the logo. Nice tree of the oak tree or whatever it is, um, but it feels like a proper nice kit. Um, that's the sponsor on it, Barex. No idea who they are, I don't know if they're the shirt um, makers. Um, because obviously there's no, nothing here, so I presume that's who make it. Interesting to have shirts from different locations uh, around the world. Now let's look at the back, very simple there. Got another, another sponsor on the back. Um, Goyle it looks like it says, or Goyge. I don't know what it says, reading it backwards on the screen. Um, but this is a cool kit and I really like it. Uh, obviously official um, uh, they must be the they must be the shirt makers, so Barex or whatever the hell they're called. But cool, cool top really. Another one to add to the collection. Only twenty quid or nineteen ninety nine. Uh, the Salihovitch top being twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, but it was just one that I wanted, and that's why I spent that much money on it. Now we'll be looking at spending around twenty five pounds on the shirts from now on, um, but less per video, just to make it more interesting. Um, 
There's a few on Eminem Direct at the moment, but they're all like English teams, and I'm, I don't really want to get English teams. There's like Coventry and Northampton and things like that. They look like cool kids, but I don't want them. I, I only care about Liverpool and Gateshead in the, uh, in the UK. So this one's good. Um, I've now got a spreadsheet of all the tops I have own. Um, so if anyone ever wants to send me anything, which why would you? Because I've only got 200 odd subscribers um, and these videos only get not even 100 views. So it's not really that interesting. But if you do, or if you have any recommendations, let me know. And these are the shirts. And uh, I'll link down in the description below onto the Wikipedia page from all our Minecraft stuff. Uh, but it's easier just to use it all on there. Um, just that's going to be my list of how much money I've spent on shirts and um, what they are basically. So thanks for watching and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.